You know, and uh, as you know, God speaks to all of us. And I believe that God uses all of us to say many different things to us. And tonight, I know that Yearly has received as well something from the Lord, and she wants to share it with us as well. So please, Yearly, coming up. Let's give a big welcome to Yearly. Good night, everybody. I think you never get used to be here <laughs> if you don't do it that often but if God is calling if he's calling you have to answer <laughs> and be here and I just want to open my heart and be honest with all of you because I know we all go through similar things even when there can be different situations we all are in different battles and and we all have the same Lord and the same Savior and the same, the same way to get out of any situation that we can go through. Um, I, I, I want to call this like the key. What is our key for us? Like a, as a Christians, what is our key? Like when you, you're going to your house, you open your door with your key. When you're leaving to protect your house, you lock your door with your key. Uh, our Father in heaven gave it a key to us. Uh, that was the prayer. And sometimes we take it for less. And, and I even can say it for myself because I think uh, many times happened to me, like I was coming to the church four times a week and work staff church I was so tired and like okay I'm not praying I need to rest I need to sleep uh, I'm tired uh, but I'm going to the church and receiving and if not I, I'm just going to put a preach of, of while I'm working on my earbuds and listening and receiving but what about my prayer my relationship with God is like he's sitting there waiting for me and, and for all of us and, and I'm not taking that time and through many situations, he, he was speaking to me that I need discipline. Even I have a dream, it's so clear. And that dream, it was raining her. And, and the dream was just this, like, you need to fast. <laughs> I don't like to fast. <laughs> I didn't like it. And I think I tried many times before, and I did it for one day, two days. But this fast that was 10 days was the first time that I really went through all the way, and I didn't fail. Like I did it and I feel the, f the first day was so hard. I didn't want to do it anymore. I wanted to give up so many times, but I think in the fifth day, I was like, okay, I can do it. If I did it halfway, I can finish this, I will do it. And this is with nobody else, no, nobody's watching me, only you. Uh, this is between you and I, and I will do it. And I want to use a story in the Bible that I, because I was reading Mark, and it's about, I don't know, it's just, and he knew what to do. He is our example, he is our teacher, he is all that we need. And that we know what to do if we see what Jesus did. Um, he knew he was going through a big battle. He, he was going to give us the victory to become the king of kings, our Lord, our saviors, to reestablish a relationship with our Father in heavens. And he taught three of his disciples to Hetsemani. And what he said was like, as the, you can read it in Marcos 14, 32, 42. If you have the chance to read it, you can read it. This also, Matthew also tells us about what happened in Hetsemani. And he just say to the disciples, like, I'm going to pray, please watch. And that I think this is, I read it in, 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 the, in the version of, it's, he say in the Bible, but in the Spanish version, say like, stay awake, stay awake. We cannot fall asleep. And what his disciples did, they fall asleep. He went three times back to see and they were sleeping. And, and he, what he says is like, our spirit is willing to do the right thing. 
but our flesh no our flesh is weak if we don't pray we won't receive the strength from our father to deal with our flesh and make our spirit strong and deal with what is coming and what happened for example with Peter say you're gonna deny my name that you don't know me and he didn't pray and he fell it wasn't a, a, a it's not God is not telling us like whatever we are going to be or we're going to have is going to be easy no time and what I've been doing to, from my experiences like every morning I'm taking my time to read and pray and I'm saying I'm not touching my phone until I read and I pray I'm forcing myself because it's not easy for me and how good I feel after when I wake up my flesh doesn't want to do it it's like no I don't want to do this <laughs> I want to check it out my phone, whatever the news, see who texts me, talk to my family. But no, I say, no, I'm not allowed to touch my phone until I read and I pray, until I have a habit. And then it's like, as soon as you start doing it, it's like you want it more. But first, you need to take the decision, the step, because Jesus knew it, what, what, what is coming but sometimes we don't know what is coming and if we read Matthew 24 Matthew 24 42 and 43 we can put it on the screen Matthew 24 42 Watch there before, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if is the master of the house had known what hour the thief will come, he will have watched and not allow his house to be broken into. We have to be stay awake and watch out. We never know what time is going to come something or even our Lord. What a, what a good moment if our Lord is coming back and we are just expecting Him. If we are sharing time with Him, we're going to have peace. We are in the right spot, but we need to be disciplined. And this is what is going on in my life now. I, I hope you can read more. And... Just, just see, Jesus was able to reestablish our relationship with our Father. Now we can go before the Father because He went to the cross. But He was able to do because He was praying the victory for Him and for us. And it's, this is what we need to do. And I think that's all. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, it's, 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 as simple as this topic may be, it's very, very important. You know, without discipline, we will never really be able to accomplish anything. Imagine how would you feel if you get up in the morning and don't have your breakfast or don't eat anything throughout the day. You'd be starving, of course. You'd be like, I need to drink something. I need to eat something. But well, the same thing our spirit feels when we do not eat the Word of God, when we do not have our moment of prayer. And as, as important that is with me, you know, if you give God the first thing moment of your life, of your day, believe me, the rest of your day will just go in a much different way. You know, if all we do is fill our minds with nonsense and useless information, then believe me, our minds will be thinking about all that stuff and we're not going to have the peace or we're not going to be sensitive enough to hear God's voice. Amen. Let's praise the Lord. I hope.